the solution that is making a lot of headlines lately is let's put data centers in space. That is an interesting thought. So I've given it some thought and I have some interesting thoughts around it for the mining industry. But first let's talk about pros and cons. Okay. Pros, cooling, the vacuum of space is very cold. Mm -hmm. So all these data centers, a huge component, like two thirds of the weight of a data center is all the cooling apparatus. Yeah, which is an interesting because they're putting them in places like Phoenix, which yes. is hot. Mm -hmm. I mean, Phoenix gets up to like 115 degrees in yep. the summer. Yep. And even hotter with like, you know, building and reflection, all that fun stuff. Yep. So, so in space, you can build these huge, basically, and, and I'm going to use basic simple terms here um, so everyone can understand, including myself. So it's basically cooling that's based on um, just radiant cooling. So, hmm. you know, there's radiant heating. There's obviously the inverse. There's a word for it. I can't remember the word. But basically, you build these giant arrays and you can pump through coolant into the data center and then it goes out into the vacuum of space and cools down and then you just circulate it back through. Interesting. Because the vacuum of space is really cold. But cooling with fans and convection and things like that don't work in the vacuum of space. So your cooling is all limited to what I would call passive cooling. So you have to build these huge arrays of, of cooling so that's a pro and a con. I kind of got into the con category. But the pro is abundant cold in the vacuum that's, space. That's the high level thought, yes. But the advantage, one of the major advantages is, first off, solar panels on terrestrial solar panels on the planet. All those solar rays have to pass through the atmosphere. 